Hi, my name is Derek Gunther. Uh, I'm a chemical sensor engineer for Ocean Optics uh, based in Dunedin, Florida. And uh, today we're just showing off some of our optical oxygen and pH sensor systems. Uh, we're showing here a bioflask that has both intrusive and non-intrusive uh, uh, measurement probes here. Uh, if we can take a look here uh, on the uh, inside of the flasks, we have a we have a pH patch uh, located at the bottom, and then an oxygen sensor patch up top. Uh, and these same chemistries are then also in intrusive probes, such as this one for pH here, that can be swage locked into a uh, process line or vessel, and then for oxygen here. Uh, the intrusive is nice uh, because they also feature a thermistor in the tip, which allows you to have temperature measurement and then temperature compensation for the sensor chemistry. Uh, the uh, pH sensors work on a colorimetric uh, based, uh, they use a dye embedded in a thin film, uh, bromocrystal green, that flips between yellow and blue depending on alkalinity. Uh, and what we do is correlate that to the pH level using our calibration buffers. Um, so we uh, overcome ambient light interference and color interference, turbidity, things like that by using a gold electroformed mesh over the top of the sensor. And what that does is act as a reflector uh, to make the sensor deaf, dumb, and blind to the uh, to the outside world there. Um, the oxygen sensors work on a uh, fluorescence-based uh, system. They're using a ruthenium dye uh, embedded in a thin film uh, that we excite with a blue LED at 450 nanometers. Uh, that then causes the chemistry to fluoresce, and then the decay time is correlated to the oxygen content. So that's how the oxygen sensors work uh, and the pH sensors. And we're also looking in to the development of CO2, glucose, ammonia, optical temperature, and several others uh, to kind of expand our portfolio of uh, optical sensing here. Um, and uh, our software suites for the two uh, likewise make it very easy to keep track of uh, uh, your measurements and log data at user specified intervals. So uh, we think this is a very robust uh, system that can be used for wastewater, uh, food and beverage, um, marine sciences, laboratory R&D, large scale OEMs uh, for scale up applications. Uh, and you know any number of applications that would need pH or O2 sensing.